Borrower requests to delay their monthly mortgage payments jumped over 1,200 percent in the first weeks of March and then by nearly 2,000 percent in the last week. That according to new numbers from the Mortgage Bankers Association. All right, guys, Caesar with China Mortgage Partners. And I want to talk about today's topic is about forbearance. As we're entering economic downturn, a lot of people are going through a struggle. There's a, a lot of things that started happening, right? The, the on the stimulus package came into play, 2.2 trillion. Um, a lot of uh, resources for unemployment and small businesses and stuff. Which I'm going to talk about in other videos. But one of the things that came into play in the mortgage industry is the forbearance. You know, for a lot of borrowers, you know, they've been asking questions if this is the right thing for them. To now, if you're not in a situation where you need forbearance, it wouldn't be wise to move forward with the forbearance. It would be wise to continue making your payment to help the come back on his feet and we can move forward. But if you're not in a situation and obviously after a couple of weeks, you find out that you're unemployed and now you find yourself in a situation that even if you collect unemployment, you're not going to be able to pay the mortgage payment. Then this could be a good opportunity for you to take advantage of. Now, so they provided, uh, based off what I did some research on is most of the major um, banking institutions, like your big banks, like Chase, Wells, uh, Bank of America, maybe uh, Bank of the Solution is opportunity for home buyers that are in a situation. Now, the situation here is that you have a few options, right? You have what's called the reinstatement. Um, you have a prepayment or payment plan. You have a loan modification. And you have, which is, like I said, deferring would be the, the best ideal situation. For most people, when I when I talk to the banks, I want to get information. They said, hey, you know what? Um, if, you know, after the three months, if you decide to take the three months, then they're going to decide based off what the investor decides to do with your situation. So it could be that you might be put in a situation for reinstate, to reinstate your loan and put in a situation where the investor is gonna decide if he wants a lump sum or if he's gonna want payments. Now, I talked to a lot of the advisors with the banks. They said, you know what? They don't know if it's gonna be a lump sum. Likely, it might not be because of the situation at hand. So let's just say you go into a payment plan. Like I said, for most people, it's gonna be a tight situation. You add that to the back, you're probably not, probably won't be in a situation where you could pay it for most people, right? Because maybe economically things still haven't got better. Last but not least, it would be a loan modification, which obviously if you put in a loan modification, I don't know if you, most people have been through that, but in the last uh, recession, when people got into loan modifications, a lot of people weren't explained properly. Now I'm not saying this to, it's still fear, but it's just so you can educate yourself and find out more and find, read through the fine print. You want to make sure that you know the details of it. So um, overall, obviously they promise no interest, right? They promise no credit, hit, no, no late fees or penalties. Those are great, you know, positive things to get really informed and find out and make sure they send you a letter with some of the details, exactly what this entails. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Caesar with Channel Partners. Thank you.